What's going on, YouTube? It's that black dude, and I'm back. And hey, I just realized something here about me being demonetized. That means I can cuss. And now would be a great time to go ahead and implement that vocabulary because I got a softy ass bitch of an ex who decided she wanna send me a motherfucking friend request on Facebook. Now, originally I went ahead and said, I'll go ahead and I accept the shit. You know, let that whole see that I'm living life good, you know? Let that bitch see what she had. Like, you know what, fuck it. I don't know what the fuck she need to be on my page for, but fuck it. You want to send me requests and shit, and then unblock me for motherfucking messenger and all that shit? Fuck it. Fine with me. I'll go ahead, and I'll accept your shit. But I ain't finna talk to your ass like you post none of that shit here. Now, I got some real talk for some of you ladies out there. Uh, man, I was just, you know, listening to some shit, and it was just real talk. And, uh put it to you like this here a lot of y'all hoes don't even want to work y'all lay around on your ass and you try to trick off these different niggas getting their money and them niggas thinking they finna get some pussy and you excuse me had the burp pick up and you playing over them you lying to them you're not being straight up real with them but let's put the little uh, put this in your heads here shit ain't finna be working too much longer shit is still tight and niggas just ain't really falling for that, especially older niggas. They ain't falling for that shit no more. You know what I'm saying? If you want a side dude, this is what you need to do. You need to come with an agreement of what y'all gonna do. What his responsibility is, is, what you expect from him, and he need to be straight up and let you know what he expect from you. And basically all that's, that he gonna expect from you is, hey, when you need some money, Come off the pussy. That's simple as that. Don't be sitting there trying to run no games on these dudes. Oh, I love you. I've been wanting to be with you for a long time. You my only one. I'm not fucking with him no more. That kind of shit right there trying to run game. But leave your ass with a black eye. Shot up. Laid out in the motherfucking field somewhere. Which is where half of you bitches belong anyway. That's exactly where that shit will leave you. But just be straight up, be like, hey, look, my phone bill due, uh, this bill is due, I need some food for the kids. If my main nigga can't do it, then this is what I need you to do. Y'all come to that agreement and you be like, look, and when you need some pussies every so often, I'll toss you some. You come to that agreement, it's straight up, it's honest, it's real, and it's, it's not going to leave you with your ass beat. Because half of y'all bitches out there getting your ass beat because you fucking deserve it. You like tricking off anyway? That's the fucking lifestyle you're going to deal with. But then you want a lot of these niggas getting their expectations up. And they sinking all this motherfucking money in your ass. And find out you're a salty, broke ass bitch who just using it. And ain't even tossing the pussy his way. But you fucking Tevin and Tyrone who ain't doing shit for you at all don't work like that these side niggas you got treat the niggas right with some respect and maybe y'all want to end up with your head split just maybe and you as a as a side dude here's the thing you know men they don't act like they emotional and, and all of that but when you're telling them all this shit that they want to hear i've been into you you my own this and that and this and that you emotionally attach them in to you. You get in their emotions. You get them niggas in their feelings. And they start thinking, you know what? Hey, man, this might work out after all. And that's why they beating your asses. Don't get in the nigga feelings. If you straight up with them and you tell them, hey, look, this is what I need you to do and this is what I'm going to do for you, they're not going to get in their feelings. They'll be glad to toss you $50 or $100. Or for some of you ballers, $1,000. They'll be happy to tell you that shit. You know why? Because they know you ain't fucking around on them because you ain't they bitch. You just a piece of pussy that they helping out every so often. And yeah, maybe they like your kids that you got, all three of them, by three different baby daddies, and they know the baby daddies ain't doing shit for them. None except whooping your ass in front of them. They know that. And maybe they would get a little more emotional to you, but at the same time, 
they know you ain't finna be no woman. No real woman to them. And here's the thing. A lot of young women don't even know how to be wives anyway. That's why they're not wifed up. That's why they got different kids by different daddies. Because their mamas was hoes. Their mamas was out there fucking and sucking dick and had your ass when, you was, when she was 15 years old. Same thing with the niggas out there. Most of them, they ain't got no, no, no idea what family life is. They ain't had no father or no steady father figure. So all they know is what they see. And the cycle repeats. A lot of y'all women, if you know you ain't gonna be no good, stop pretending. Just, hey, start selling that pussy like you should and get the shit over with. That shit out there in life you don't wanna do. And uh, quite frankly, it's a life that y'all choose. Y'all choose that lifestyle because a whole lot of y'all, y'all can take your asses right on to work. And for those who do take yourselves to work, I applaud you. I respect that. I respect a hard working woman. Not a hard hustling woman who out there sucking dick, but a hard working woman who's got a job, who chose to go that route, who's out there busting her ass without doing all of that. But at the same time, hey, if you choose not to do that and live that lifestyle and get your ass out of the hood, do what you're gonna do, but be straight up with it. I don't think I can add too much to that. About to head to the house here. And uh, get myself ready for work. So yeah, that's that. Peace out.